I guess. So today I'm going to be explaining a few different ways you can significantly boost your FPS in Overwatch 2. You can see in the top left I have consistently 400 or above FPS, uh, which is really nice. So the first thing we're going to be talking about is something outside of Overwatch 2, and then we're going to be talking about settings and video settings. Um, so outside of Overwatch 2, uh, my desktop here you can see I have MSI Afterburner. So MSI Afterburner, you can just Google it, download it. And so this is going to be useful for basically boosting or increasing the performance of your GPU, no matter what kind of GPU you have. Um, here you're going to see overclock. Uh, it says core clock and megahertz. So this is going to be by default at zero. What you want to do is slowly increment this by probably about 25, 10 or 25. And until it starts, until your screen starts kind of like glitching. And once that happens, turn it back down and then click this and click the check mark. And then you can also have a profile here on the left and then click the check mark and this will save it. And basically this is gonna give you a nice, maybe 20, 30 extra frames, depending on your GPU, depending on how much you can actually overclock it without it you know, taking too much power. Um, so here at the top left, you see you have 400 again. Now we're gonna go into settings. So hit escape, click options, go to video first. So video, we have the first thing here, you can see my graphics card. Again, I have a nice graphics card. Most of you guys may or may not have that. I don't know, it doesn't really matter. Uh, first thing, make sure you're in full screen. Make sure you have the monitor you want, blah, blah, blah. Make sure you have the Hertz that you want. That's what, that's what the 165 means here. Um, the higher the field of view, the, more, more, uh, the less FPS you're gonna get, but I would highly suggest playing on max out uh, field of view because you wanna see more of, the, of your surroundings, basically. I play 69. Um, render scale is always a hundred unless so if you're on a really low end setup you can turn this down but it's gonna make your screen really kind of like pixelated kind of glitchy uh, frame rate I have mine on custom I just turn this all the way up because I want to get as many frames as I possibly can and basically the more frames you get regardless of your Hertz your monitor Hertz the more smooth the smoother your game will actually feel so I want you guys to try to squeeze out as many frames as you can get V-Sync is off triple but these bufferings are off you guys might tell me in the comments that these are actually good, uh, but I'm not 100% sure. I tried to turn them on and actually lowered my frames by a little bit. So NVIDIA Reflex, I have enabled plus boost. This is only going to be here if you have an NVIDIA graphics card. Otherwise, it will not be there. So the next thing we're going to be looking at under video is graphics quality. So here, um, I turned all mine down to low today and it gave me an extra like 100 frames. So if you guys play on like medium, um, I would highly, if you really want to take this game seriously, you want to maximize your frames, you want to increase your performance, maximize your performance, I would highly recommend playing on lower quality graphics just because the higher you go, yeah, it's going to look really pretty, but this isn't a game where you're walking around in an open world and it's all pretty and it's fun. Like this game could be fun, but I would highly recommend uh, prioritizing frames. Now, if that means for you, you can play on medium and you can still get like 300 frames, you're gonna be fine. But if you're on a lower end setup and medium means you get like only 60 frames and if you play on low, you get like 100 frames, that's a big difference. Especially, you know, if you have like a 75 Hertz monitor or something, make sure you're getting over the amount of Hertz that your monitor is. So if your Hertz on your monitor is 144, make sure you're getting at least 145, 150, something like that. Um, here, basically everything is just Everything is just as low as it can go. Uh, this is 1x resolution. This is screenshot though. So everything is just low. Uh, obviously, if you want to maximize your FPS, you put them on low. So in terms of details, what we can display here, we can just show performance stats on. I like to show my frame rate. Obviously, if that's if that's what you guys want to if you guys want to see that, that's this is where you turn that on. I also have my uh, ping turned on, which you can see up here. So. My FPS is capped at 60 because we're in the menu, but you guys can tweak with all of these. Uh, if you want something like maybe you like certain detail higher, you can absolutely turn that up. Um, for these, for example, I might actually turn these to low just because I don't need to turn everything off. I have a pretty nice PC, but this will ask you to restart. So that's something else, else worth mentioning. Um, if you are changing all these settings, make sure that you restart your game. And here you can see I'm playing with right around 400 frames. And this is this is just like really smooth. It just feels really smooth to turn. It, I don't know if you guys have experienced this many frames. Maybe on a game like Minecraft or something. It just feels really smooth compared to like even like 100 or 200 frames less. It's going to feel much different. So that's why I'm making this video. This is something that I, I try to do in like Valorant. I, I did it in Overwatch 1. Always try to maximize frames, right? So if you guys have any questions about... How can you maximize frames? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you do have an AMD graphics card, uh, you can still use the you can still use MSI Afterburner that I showed you at the beginning right here. 
uh, you, can, you can use this and it should work just about the same you're just over collecting there are also other applications that allow you to overclock so you know leave me questions hopefully you guys found this helpful and i'll see you guys in the next video peace guys